The planning system is integral to the way we're going to deal with environmental and climate crises. And it's important because those challenges are fundamentally spatial. Our plan is therefore very important because it provides a whole series of mechanisms and processes at national, regional and local level where we can begin to think about how we solve some of those wider crises but in a way that's sensitive to local conditions. In my research, I've always been interested in how far planning systems can promote sustainable development. And within that, I've been particularly interested in challenges around energy. Because many of the challenges of creating a more sustainable energy system are spatial, and my research has tried to address that. Students get to participate in this research in lots of ways while they're here with us. At one level, my research informs the teaching that I do, so students learn about cutting-edge research on spatial strategies for wind energy, but students also practically uh, engage in research too, or at least apply some of the things they've learnt in research activities. So within the, some of the teaching itself, they do things like uh, draft consultation responses to government uh, policies and initiatives. I'm Jennifer Pride, and I'm Head of Energy Delivery for Welsh Government. So the work that Richard's doing here will translate itself directly into things that people will see as a tangible difference. So understanding where particularly we need to improve uh, the energy efficiency of homes and do more insulation, and where the best places are to situate things like rooftop solar, and how we can knit those together into smart local systems that keep the energy and the benefits from generating that energy a lot more locally. A new area of research for us in the School of Geography and Planning is the idea of local area energy plans. Uh, these are being rolled out in many areas. The Welsh Government's committed to rolling them out across Wales with local authorities. And these are seen as a key tool for helping us create net zero energy systems. In some areas that might be about uh, working out what's the best renewable energy capacity to install. You can see that at Trowbridge in the east with the wind farm. In some it may be about integral solar panels on housing and other solutions like, uh, like heat pumps. In some cases it might be about district heating which supplies uh, an area with a centrally created heating source. In the school, research-led learning means that we teach students um, on the basis of the expertise and excellence of our research. I think it's really important that Richard's students learn about his research, that they can see what his expertise and insight is leading to in terms of changes to our environment, how it's managed. It means they can engage with his knowledge, they can understand how it's applied to current challenges and issues, and it can inspire them to understand and pursue a career related to both research and issues around planning for tomorrow's environment. I think the future for planning is really exciting. We look at the challenges we face in things like creating a sustainable energy system and dealing with the climate crisis. Uh, we really need people with the kind of skills that planners have not only in the wider issues, but in thinking through solutions that work for people and places.